greatness. We exalt it when we see it. We celebrate it when it's paraded before us. We appreciate, esteem and value it when it towers over us with all its brilliance. Greatness, simply put, is breathtaking, irresistible and worthy of acclaim. From Nelson Mandela ushering a new era on the steps of the Union buildings to Martin Luther King Jr. echoing a compelling and captivating dream for all generations at the Lincoln Memorial. From the Beatles shaping culture from the global stage to Marilyn Monroe redefining what glamour and success looks like from the red carpet. When encountered with such greatness, it's hard to not stand and take note. From the Allied forces storming the beaches of Normandy to the unwavering battles against racial, gender and political oppression. From the summit of Everest to the vastness of the Grand Canyon. From the enthralling stretch of the Amazon to the breathtaking abyss of the universe. Greatness has always had the unmatched ability to make time stand still for the one who has the privilege to confront it face to face. But what if there was more to greatness than what it's been made to look like? What if instead of a human victor over a man-made system, greatness looked like an eternal victor triumphing over eternal darkness? What if, instead of a self-edifying idol shaping the structure of society, greatness looked like a self-sacrificing savior shaping the hearts of all men at all times? What if, instead of the wonders and mysteries of every facet of creation, greatness looked like the collective sum of all that beauty, wrapped up in the scar-laden king whose cause for infliction was that he loved us too much? What if, greater than all the champions of history, all the glamour of the celebrated, all the magnificence of creation and even greater than all the conquests of mankind is the God who left behind an empty tomb so that all those who came after him never have to experience the true depths of shame, guilt and condemnation but instead the true heights of love, grace and triumph. What if greater than all these things is our risen King, Jesus Christ?